I want to talk about this 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 one movie that just really blew me away. Um, a friend of mine gave me a copy of this movie. It was called uh, Soldier Blue. This is a great film. You got to see it. Uh, you know, Candace Bergen is walking around like in the woods with a bear hide on her or something. You know, she gets lost. She's going back to the Indians. I'm like, oh, you yeah, know, this is another one of these kind of cheesy '70s films. She, she evidently lived with the Indians for a while during the Civil War. She was on her way to get married to a Union soldier. She gets kidnapped. She's with the Indians for a couple of years. They bring her back, and they're they're on their way back to the Union camp, and they get it, and, and then they get attacked by the Indians again. They, they they end up getting slaughtered by the Union soldiers, and Union soldiers are getting slaughtered. Candace Bergen's on the run with a Union soldier who's a very prim and proper Union soldier, played by Peter Strauss. And so they're they're on the run, and, and you're watching this, and it's kind of this little interesting romantic thing where it's like, well, they will they do it? Will they not do it? You know, will they do it in a tent? Will they do it in the cave? You know, when is he going to you know break his puritanical values? This is during the Civil War, and she's talking as if you know, she were you know protesting you know various social issues at the time. It was really an, an interesting way that they made the movies in the 70s. They did a lot of that. You've known it all along. The rifles are inside, and you have met him before. Twice. Selling guns. Yes. To the Cheyennes. Yes. To kill American soldiers, and you wouldn't stop him? I couldn't then. I wouldn't now. For your own people? Most people I know live in New York City. For your country, then? I am not a Cheyenne soldier, Blue, and I never will be. But I can tell you right now I'd rather be one than any runt butt soldier of any bloodthirsty army you can name. You're a traitor, Miss Lee. Well, at least that's settled. By the way, I'm in no way endorsing the Confederacy in this. Uh, this is, they just happen to be Union soldiers. I, I'm neutral on the Civil War. Well, I'm not really neutral, I guess. Uh, I, I, I just don't think about it much, I guess is what I should say. The Indians came out with a white flag, right? They surrendered. They said, hey, we're not, you know, we don't want to fight. We're, we're, we're not here to cause a problem. And they went in and slaughtered them anyway. And this is evidently a historical fact. So the end of this movie uh, was basically a reflection of that history. And the director of this, Ralph Nelson, and, and he had directed Requiem for a Heavyweight, and he directed Charlie and uh, Lilies in the Field and all these wonderful movies from the 50s and 60s and did a lot of television. Well, you know, he, he made this movie and it had that spirit, that, that spirit of the 60s, that, that rebellious spirit to it. You wouldn't expect it to come out of a guy who was, you know, probably making like training videos for World War I or something. When the Union soldiers go in to, to get Candace Bergen, the final 20 minutes of this film, I can't really say I've been as sickened uh, by anything I'd seen since probably, you know, Natural Born Killers. It, it had very much of a feel of, of, of a kind of a cross between an Oliver Stone, Stanley Kubrick, uh, um, thinking about Spartacus, the kind of scenes that they had in the battlefield. But even worse, it was beheadings, rapes, uh, rivers of blood, women being sexually mutilated by these, these Union soldiers. I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. The, the movie leads you to believe you're going to end up with some sort of, a, you know, maybe there will be a battle, but nothing as graphic as this. We will attack right of the village. Troop at the trot. Merge. <laughs> Clearly they were making a point, and I think the My Lai Massacre had a lot to do with what they were reflecting in this scene. A lot of people in America did not like this film because they felt it was uh, anti-American, anti-war. You know, there are certain uh, elements of society that, that felt that this movie should not be seen. And when they did show this movie in the theaters, they actually put up signs that said, you know, beware, this movie will make you And people did vomit uh, in this movie, uh, from, from what I read. I'm not joking, people really did vomit. It, it, of course, didn't go anywhere, and they edited it for television, which, of course, was a very neutral, pretty much of a benign film like a lot of the films at the time were when they were edited for television. The point is of, of the whole thing is just that in those days the people would make these films and they would lead you into thinking you're watching something and then they'd hit you really hard with a point at the end and, and it does get you right in the solar plexus when you when you see the end of this. Uh, it's not a pleasant thing to see. Uh, I don't think filmmakers today could get by with doing that. Well, they couldn't in Hollywood. They couldn't lead you to believe you're watching a romantic comedy set in the Civil War and then you end up 
you know, watching what is basically one of the most horrendous graphic scenes of battle. Uh, when they had children that were supposed to have had their legs cut off, they actually used real children who were paraplegics, and then they would put an, a prosthetic leg laying over here to give the effect of the child's leg having been sliced off by a Union soldier sitting over here. Uh, of course, today they would be doing that with CGI effects. In those days, uh, they didn't have that, of course, and this is the way the director chose to do that. I, I can't even imagine uh, uh, that kind of a thing being done today. I mean, in general, uh, it's it's horrendous. The film is incredible for these reasons. Uh, you know, I'm, it's not for everybody. It's 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 more of a social statement. It's very clearly a movie with a message, but it's just interesting uh, the way this film can sneak up on people and. Um, if, if anybody has the stomach to see it, I think it's a good, uh, a good piece to watch for, uh, for, for history, if nothing else.